I just came back from the just concluded Emmanuel TV crusade by um, Pastor Evelyn Joshua, the wife of Prophet Tim Joshua. And uh, one thing I noticed with the crusade is that most of Kenyan pastors boycotted the meeting. Not all of them, but most of them. And this was intentional. It, it wasn't uh, because somebody was busy. I know there are some who are, who are they had uh, other assignments to do, but what I know is most of them boycotted uh, this meeting. And uh, there's a video I'm going to show you of uh, a certain pastor, a certain apostle in Kenya who was warning people that the Kasarani crusade is not of God. The, he said that uh, Rema Fest, which passed, was good, and um, other prophets who, have, who had came, uh, like uh, Cindy, Jose, uh, Cindy Jacobs, are good, but now. This one of, of the Kasarani, which was uh, being held by Pastor Evelyn Joshua, was not of God. And um, I really disagree with this kind of statement. And um, I just want to tell you, my, view, my viewers, that uh, this video is going to be controversial because I'm going to talk about issues which are affecting the body of Christ. Issues which is making pastors not to move forward. These are issues which are hindering the growth of the church. These are issues which is limiting the body of Christ to reach its full potential. Watch this video till the end. Hello guys, thank you for tuning in. I'm Cleo Faswanyama, Cleo with him, and this is Christian Media, where we travel the world to give you local and international Christian news, commentaries, Bible-based teachings, gospel music, plus many more. And if you want to support us financially, use the information on the screen. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you. See you again. Yes, I was privileged to go at the Emmanuel TV crusade at the Kasarani. And I was privileged to sit at the VIP. I've done a video of uh, my travel, how I travel, and how the crusade was. I did a video. It's on my channel. You can go and check it. Now, it was a very wonderful experience. We saw the power of God. People were healed. The sick were healed. People who were demon oppressed were delivered instantly. But now, uh, what I was shocked is that there was little presence of Kenya person, even none. Okay, one thing I'd like to, to congratulate and appreciate uh, Mama Teresia Wairimu. She was there. She went to the airport. She was the one who welcomed Mami Evelyn Joshua. Teresia Wairimu is a powerful woman of God. And I, I believe but that uh, he, her being a woman, uh, she understands how it feels to do ministry as a woman. It was a, a woman to woman issue. So she was there at the airport at the JKIA. It's all over the Emmanuel TV. You can see, you can, uh, see her. She was there. Uh, Mama Teresia Wairimu. Mama Teresia Kweru is a spiritual mother in Kenya. And I really thank God for her life. She was there to welcome Mama Evelyn Joshua. And, um, and, um, but she, she couldn't make it at the crusade. Now, at the crusade, I saw so many big ministers from other countries. Prophet Rolinga from Tanzania was there. Everybody knows Rolinga from Tanzania was there. Prophet Rolinga was just seated uh, a few rows ahead of me because we were seated all at the same place at the VIP, at the minister's um, area in front, just near the podium. Prophet Rolinga was there. Many ministers from other parts of Africa were there. Bishop, other prophets were there. But now, to point out Kenyan ministers, you couldn't find them. There are only these idea, uh, these um, uh, ministers whom God is raising up, these upcoming pastors, they're the ones who are so many. I saw that lady, that lady, pastor of uh, Tua Tua Tua. I don't know if you know her. Huh? Uh, okay, that's how people call her. I've forgotten her name. She was there. She was, she, she, she was, she was seated right behind me. And uh, Prophet Alan Jomba, definitely the son of Prophet of, of Prophet Tibi Joshua, was there. But uh, many Kenyan ministers boycotted this meeting. Now, this this video of this Apostle Fred, he's, he, he calls himself Apostle Fred. I will not play this video on my channel. I cannot play nonsense on my channel. I cannot play childish spiritual ch childish things on my channel there's this video go and watch it this is a thumbnail go and search it and uh, you'll watch it for yourself he said that um uh, these meetings are not of god uh, you know kenya is a country of god and uh, uh kenya is uh, is uh, is going through revival but that 
some revivals which are not of God. And she cut and he categorically has said that this meeting which is going to take place at Kasarani, which was the crusade of uh, Mami Evelyn Joshua, was not of God. Okay, I'm used to it. We are used, all scorners, we are used to it. Prophet Tim Joshua, all his life was called a false prophet. We are used to it. But this is wrong. It is wrong. The Bible says that there are different, uh, there are different administrations by the same spirit. There are different operations by the same Lord. The fact that I don't operate the way you operate doesn't make me a devil. This is why the, the body of Christ is divided. We are so divided because of small, small things. I lay hands on the sick. You don't lay hands on the sick. You use water. The one who lays hands on the sick, he's saying that the person who, who, is, who is using water or the, or the anointing oil is of the devil. No. Paul says that there are different administration by the same spirit. There are different operations by the same Lord. And this is why the body of Christ is fighting over nothing. You cannot grow. We, are not, we, we can't be the same. We cannot be the same. The diversity of gifts, they operate differently. But you fail to have this understanding. You lack maturity. You think that everything which um, God does, you have to understand how God does, how, how he does it. No. You don't have to understand everything which God does. That's why it limits you. It limits your growth. Instead of you celebrating somebody who, who was mightily, do you know how many people T.B. Joshua has touched? Do you know how many lives Prophet T.B. Joshua has touched? And those pastors who boycotted this meeting, thinking that they were spiritual, you're not spiritual. You're just a spiritual dummy. You're not spiritual. That's not spirituality. I'm here telling the truth. That's not spirituality. I honor all men of God. Even those who boycotted, I honor them. Because I know everybody has a place to play in the body of Christ. We are the body of Christ. Everybody ordered has a different role. The role of the brain is not the same as the role of the heart. The role of the heart is not the same as the, the role of the heart of the lungs. The, the role of the lungs is not the same as the role of the liver and the kidney and all intestine. They are different functions. And we need them all together. The whole body cannot be the brain. The whole body cannot be the eyes. The whole body can, cannot be the liver. Or the, we, we need to have different parts so that when you, they come together, they, are, they become functional. The body of Christ is the only dysfunctional body that has ever existed because one part rejects the other. The brain rejects the liver and the liver rejects the lung and the lung rejects the kidney and then you expect it to be strong and say, there's a revival, we are going to move forward, we are going to win souls. You are joking, you are deceiving yourself. Until you, are the, you learn how to respect other people's ministry, until you learn how to appreciate how God is using other people regardless of your understanding. You know, this is the problem which is uh, uh, we have in with so many pastors, even spiritual fathers. Uh, they want God to use somebody in the way which they understand. It's, it is not all about you. It's all about him. People have been calling T.B. Joshua names for many years. We're used to that. And I can give you from my example. Let me give you my example. Um, I was born in an Anglican family. My parents were Anglican originally. And then my mom got born again. And, um, okay, my parents even married at the Anglican church, St. Luke's Makupa. Those were in Mombasa, no, St. Luke's Makupa in 1981, 89, sorry. Uh, my parents got married there. They were married when I was already three years old because I was born in 1986. Now, uh, after some time, my mom got born again and she joined Pastor Lai's JCC. At that time, it was in 93 there. 92, 93. At that time, JCC was the, you know, everybody was going. To, it, it was the hit church that time. And everybody else was calling Pastor Lai a devil. Why? Because it was something new. They could not understand how he was doing it. So everybody in Mombasa was saying that JCC is a church of devil worship, which is, was wrong. It wasn't. And then years came in 1997, Bishop Redepo bought, bought Winner's Chapel to Kenya. And then uh, my mom joined Winner's Chapel. We went, we joined that, you know, as a small boy, you, you just follow your mom. I joined Winner's Chapel. Now, when Winner's Chapel came, most pastors, spiritual fathers, whom most of us respect, 
joined hands and they said that Willard's Chapel is a cult and they wanted to kick Willard's Chapel out of Kenya. I, I, at some point when I, I, I had uh, attended one of the evening service, I saw one of the Nigerian pastors being handcuffed in church by the immigration officers deported back to Nigeria simply because that pastors had come uh, uh, together to say that Winners Chapel is a cult. Because when Winners Chapel came, they came with anointing oil, you know, feet washing. If you have been in if you have been in Winners, you understand Winners Chapel that does they do anointing oil, feet washing. So everybody say that thing is a cult. They fought Winners Chapel. They fought Winners Chapel. Even us when we uh, where we are living, all our neighbors said that you are going to that Nigerian church. That's a demon worship church. But, you know, simply because something is new to you, you fight it. That's the problem with the body of Christ. But today, when a chapel is, is there, they are fighting it. Even the fathers who are, who are fighting it, they stopped it. They even reconciled. And so, so you see this, it's, this fighting one another, it is childish, it is stupidity. Ah, back to Timmy Joshua. So, when, when I see people fighting tb joshua because of what i'm used to this thing i've seen this thing when i was up as a small boy growing up i see when a new ministry comes up they fight it even in right now in mombasa they are fighting pastor ezekiel right it's a new ministry the way he does it. he listen i may not agree with everything pastor ezekiel does but he is a man of god so they are also fighting him you know these things pastors do you wonder you wonder which which god are you serving are, we, are you in competition? Okay. They say that uh, Prophet T.B. Yeshua is not of God. Okay. Do you know? Okay. Um, in this, uh, in the video of Apostle Fred, which I showed you before, uh, uh, previously, he said that Rema Fest was of God. You know, Rema Fest took place at at, uh, at Kasarani also. Uh, a few months before, uh, sorry, a few weeks before, um, the Mama Evelyn Joshua came with her to said. Now, I also did a video of uh, Rema Fest telling people to come to attend. You see, in this channel, I don't discriminate. I told people, I announced it, and I was telling people, oh, guys, there's a Rema Fest, come and fellowship Apostle Joshua Selman will be, will be teaching, because I love Apostle Joshua Selman. I respect Apostle Joshua Selman, because he's a good teacher of the word. Now, he was saying that uh, Rema Fest was of God. But uh, this one from Skoan with Mami Evelyn Joshua, it wasn't of God. Now, let me correct this apostle. Do you know Apostle Joshua Selman was once imparted by Prophet Kubus? Kubus van Reinberg, something like that. A Prophet Kubus was in South Africa. Apostle, apostle Joshua Selman in this video, check this video here. Apostle Joshua Selman, he said himself, he went to Apost to Prophet Kubus and he saw him raising uh, people out of wheelchairs. 12,000 people were raised out of wheelchairs. And Prophet Kubus stood up and prophesied to him, to Apostle Joshua Selman, then when he was an upcoming minister and told him that I can see the prophetic anointing, no, uh, the apostolic anointing are going to be a great man. He prophesied to him and he prayed for him. And he, he gave him impartation. Do you know that Prophet Kubus was 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 once imparted by Prophet T.B. Joshua? Check this video. Check this video. Check this video. You see? Prophet Kubus, you see him lying down on the floor, receiving impartation from Prophet T.B. Joshua. You see, from Prophet T.B. Joshua, he received uh, Prophet Kubus. He received, and then uh, that's where uh, Apostle Joshua Selman saw the mighty works of God done by, by Prophet Kubus. And Prophet Kubus gave Apostle Joshua Selman impartation. The one you are enjoying at Rema Fest, you don't know the origin. Honor men of God. Honor, you see, Joshua, uh, T.B. Joshua, the anointing of T.B. Joshua had an effect in the life of Prophet Kubus, which had an effect in the life of Apostle Joshua Selman. Even if when you listen to Apostle Joshua Selman, he said it's a product of many graces. It's a product of many anointings. Are we together there? Now, another person 
uh, another person before I forget. Uh, who was it? Uh, in Remfest? Because they say Remfest is of God, and the other one for Emmanuel TV, it wasn't of God. In Remfest, there was this prophet from Zimbabwe called Ian Dolovu. Dr. Ian Dolovu. Do you know Dr. Ian Dolovu is a, is, is a mighty man of God? God is using him in a great way in prophecies. Do you know Dr. Ian Dolovu was once delivered by Prophet Kakande? He was once delivered by Prophet Kakande in Kampala Gada. There is a video on this channel. Well, check it. It's here. Well, check this video. Dr. Ian Dolovu was delivered by Prophet Kakande at Kampala Uganda years ago when you, 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 you did not know him. Prophet Kakande is a son of Prophet T.B. Joshua. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You're saying that that meeting uh, of uh, of Mami Evelyn Joshua is of the devil and this meeting of Rema Fest is of God. You don't know what you're talking about. Trace people, trace where they got the anointing from. Stop talking things you don't know. Ian Dolov was once delivered by Prophet Kakande, given impartation. Today you see him all over the place. You don't know where people went to receive a touch from God. Because I believe in impartation. I myself also was received impartation from Prophet Kakande. So respect. Respect men of God. And I did, I was not happy that uh, people the, you boycott this meeting because you feel like oh these and these people they are using water, these people, you know, they are doing deliverance, so it's not of God. My friend, go and seek power. Let the Holy Spirit also use you. Receive impartation. You also cast out devils. Stop criticizing other people's ministry. Stop criticizing. Now, if you want out to prove to you that Prophet T.B. Yeshua is a true man of God, Apostle John Son Suleiman, whom most of you respect, when he comes to Kenya, you all attend his meetings. He came publicly and declared that he made peace with Prophet Ibn Yeshua. And he said, Prophet Ibn Yeshua, he is a man of God. Apostle Josh, Johnson Suleiman himself. The video is here. Check this video. Johnson Suleiman himself. He said that Ibn Yeshua is a man of God. Johnson Suleiman is respected. He hangs around Bishop Oedopo. He, 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 he hangs around so many men of God. Apostle John Susan, he came recently this year. I don't know if it's the Holy Spirit which pushed him. He said that he had an issue with Prophet T. Bishop, but he resolved the issue before Prophet T. Bishop died. And he said that Prophet T. Bishop is a true man of God. And we are here, we are saying that the crusade is of the devil. You don't know what they're talking about. This is why some people they never rise. Now, Apostle, sorry, Prophet Hubert Angel himself, son of Pastor Chris, don't you know that there was a time that Pastor Chris and Prophet T.B. Joshua were together? They used to pray for people together. Prophet T.B. Joshua invited Pastor Chris Oyakilomi in his church to pray for people. And then people started talking rubbish, talking rubbish. But if Prophet T.B. Joshua wasn't a man of God, Pastor Chris would have, wouldn't have gone. Pastor Chris is a very respected man of God. I respect him and I honor him so much. Pastor Chris Oekilome did healing with Prophet T.B. Joshua. Check the photos. They're here. The video is here. Check the video. And the son of Pastor Chris Oekilome, Hubert Angel, when the day uh, T.B. Joshua uh, passed on, Hubert Angel publicly eulogized him. I said that he is a true one of God. Hubert Angel is respected all over the world. Don't joke with the God of Prophet T.B. Joshua. Some of you, you admire this person. You don't know where they tapped the anointing from. And I'm not saying that they, they, they tapped the anointing from, from Juju. No, they tapped it from higher power. Don't joke with the prophetic. The prophetic can change your life. Never insult a prophet. You can insult a, a pastor and survive, but you can never insult a prophet and survive. Because the prophetic is one of the powerful offices we have in the fivefold ministries. He brought Israel out of Egypt by a prophet, and by a prophet were they preserved. I was happy. I was at the crusade. I was imparted. I was blessed. Those who didn't come, that's their problem. We're still going to move forward, and we're going to experience 
the blessings of God. At Lofes Wanyama, see you in the next video. The Bible says, in the beginning, there was the word, and the word was with God, and the word is God. I would like to emphasize Christians to study, because it is ignorance which is keeping many Christians in bondage. The Bible says, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Now, years ago, in 2018, God gave me a revelation to write three e-books. The first one is called The Star, The Mystery Behind Extreme Success. We, this book tends to teach about star. This book about the star teaches you about the star so that you can understand what does, what does the Bible say concerning stars. There are a lot of erroneous teachings out there about the star. But this book gives you a biblical sound knowledge about the teaching of the star. The, uh, the secret to extreme success. In this book, you're going to learn how to make your star shine. You're going to learn secrets to unlock your destiny. Get this book. The second book is called, is called Understanding the Mystery of Times and Seasons, where I teach about times and seasons and how to discern the, se the seasons and the timings which you are in. This book is powerful. It's going to unlock a lot of uh, potentials in you. And the, the last one is called Thrones. Thrones. Thrones is a very powerful book where I teach about altars, gates, and covenants. It's a very powerful book. These three combinations will help you and will equip you to become a better Christian. To get this book, you get it when you donate to us an um, amount of 20 US dollars. When you donate 20 US dollars or more and you send me the email, I'll get you this book, I'll send this e -books in these three e-books in your email and it will bless you and your life will never be the same again. Thank you.